This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Blockout is an iterative, creative, and explorative process where you use simple geometric shapes and placeholder geometry to block out your level designs, game environments, and game art assets. It is also called blocking, white box, block mesh, and gray box. Blocktober is an event for level designers, game environment artists, and game designers to share their blockouts and show how they start creating level designs and game environments. The event takes place every year during the entire month of October from the 1st to the 30th. It all started in October 2017 with the hashtag on Twitter to honor blockouts. Because level blockouts is art, the hashtag was launched by the game designer from Naughty Dog, Michael Barkley. Because blockout is one of the beginning phases of level design and environment art creation, nothing is final in this phase. So the objective is not finishing a level, game environment, or making a nice design including textures, light, or details. Everything in this phase will definitely change and it often starts in a way that can be considered messy. That's why it requires you to be flexible and to be able to change things around working on the whole map, determining the scale and size of your creation. The actual goal in the blackout phase must be entirely focused on blocking out the layout, shape, establishing size, scale, proportions, and composition of your environment, and in case of creating a playable level, you will have to focus as well on playable space, flow, pacing, scripting, and gameplay implementation. In order to begin playtesting, and when you iterate, update, and refine your work, the blackouts will become the foundation or the skeleton of your work. Most artists are so busy to take the entire month or even a week to work on Blackouts for Blacktober. So they share their previous work, but most beginners take Blacktober as an opportunity to challenge themselves and join the community, especially since it doesn't have to be a finished work. So after October, they can take their level design, stand alone game environment or game assets into completion. You can use any game engine, level editor, or 3D software. You just have to match what you're trying to block out, and the best option depends on what you are willing to make. For example, if you want to work on 3D game assets or modular assets, then use 3D software such as Maya, Max, Blender, Moto, etc. And if you want to work on standalone environments without gameplay, use Unreal Engine or Unity. To join the Blocktober community, you just need to post your blockout on October on Twitter with the hashtag Blocktober, and you can even post it on Instagram with the same hashtag. And if you missed this, you don't need to wait till the next October. You can always learn to play around with game environments and level designs any time of the year using blackouts. If you are interested in learning more about how to start making your games, I recommend you try Skillshare. It is a learning platform that has thousands of classes on a variety of different topics. If you want to learn how to use game engines such as Unreal Engine or Unity, you can find a lot of classes that can help you do that step by step. For example, this class called Unreal Engine Intro to Game Design that will teach you how to set up a project, build a level, work with materials, particles, sounds, and scripted gameplay. After taking this 11-hour class, you will be able to create your own video game with characters and environments. And the good thing is, it is very affordable. The first 1,000 people to use this link will get a free trial of Skillshare. Links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.